What's up everybody, it's Mod6 and I'm coming in hot with another Call of Duty mobile video. For this one, we're going after long shots. Long shots and headshots seem to be the thing that holds most people up from grinding out those gold camos quickly. That last video I published was on headshots, how to knock them out on shipment at 15 headshots a game, Go check it out if you haven't seen it. In this one, we're going after 15 to 20 long shots a game. Before we get into it though, if you haven't subscribed, do that now. Do that now. I wanna to get to 5,000 subscribers so that I can be listed in the Call of Duty mobile Discord as a content creator. That's what we're going after right now. Simple goal, let's go get it. Anyway, we're gonna get right into this with the loadout, the map and the game mode, and then some gameplay to show you the concept, exactly where to stand, exactly what to do to get consistent long shots. Almost every kill's a long shot, and you have enemy coming into your field of view constantly, but with great cover. Everybody loves great cover. Let's get into it. All right, first, let's look at the loadout. We're using the DRH. This is the one that I recently got the gold camo on, and I did this exact method to get that gold camo to get all of the long shots here. So we're gonna replicate that, exactly what I just did for those long shots with this build here. So in the loadout, we've got no stock for mobility with the DRH. I, I can't I can't emphasize how good this this no stock option is with this gun. It's a slow gun and it adds massive mobility with just one attachment like that or detachment, I guess. The barrel is the OWC Ranger. Damage at range is important here because you're going for long shots. You want that increased damage at range to get those kills as fast as possible. Everything else here is the same as my headshot build. You can check out that headshot video. It's the last one I posted yesterday on how to get headshots extremely quickly to knock out these gold camos. And so this is the same loadout. We've got the Ranger foregrip, recoil control, and accuracy is the focus of this build. At the DRH, if you're not using the 25 round OTM mag, you're using the DRH incorrectly. The rear grip, ADS bullet spread accuracy, this is all about the long shot, and so we wanna go for accuracy at range, damage at range, and recoil control. That's what this build is for. And then we have the stock, no stock here, to make up for that loss of mobility, generally that's associated with the gun, and then these other four attachments have some loss of mobility. So the no stock accounts for all of that and makes this DRH feel like a really fast assault rifle. The rest of the loadout, something that's really key here, when you're doing these achievements, you should be running the Vulture perk because Vulture is what allows you to go pick up ammo off of kills, and you need this perk so that you don't run out of ammo in the weapon that you're grinding the kills on. If you don't want to use Vulture, you can use the full ammo perk within Gunsmith here. But to use full ammo, you have to compromise one of the other attachments, and I just don't think it's worth it. I think Vulture is the right answer for this build. I like Alert as my perk here. Alert lets me know if somebody's coming in really close so that I can react to that. I'm going for long shots in this instance, and so I wanna know if someone is sneaking up behind me or is getting really close so that I can take care of that threat and then go back to those long shots. I love Agile. It's my favorite of the red perks. It allows you to be faster to the gunfight. First to the gunfight's a huge advantage in anything to do with Call of Duty. All right, so the game mode that we're going to be using is Domination on Rust. And the place that we want to be is the corner container by one of the spawn points. So we'll get into this game and I'll show you exactly where we need to be. And you'll take this position and try and hold the position for the entire Domination match. Let's go. All right, here we go. This is the spot right here behind this container. This is where we want to be. We can see C from here. We can see B from here. There's our first long shot. He's in the prone, huh? Nope. Oh, we 
We're gonna have to go get ammo soon. It's all over there as we get a bunch of long shots in a row. We've team wiped him a couple of times here. All right, we got a teammate out in front. Now's the time to go get ammo. Run back after we get a little bit of space there with those kills. Back to our long shot spot. Get some more kills here. And then we're gonna go around and check C. Good. Now I use the counter UAV and the UAV because I'm basically stuck in one position here and I don't want them to be able to maneuver on me without me knowing. We've got one. We got a live one over here. All right, there we go. Reloading. Doing fine. Continue to look. We peek both sides. Make sure we stay reloaded. We're going to have to go get ammo soon. There's another one. Oh, not a long shot. Oh. First death of the game there. These are score streaks again. Let me peek around this side. There's another long shot. And the whole point of this is to stay in our spot to get these long shots. Surprised we don't have a sniper on the other team yet, but this is public matches. There we go. Targets in sight. Got him even with the head glitch. There's another one. Reloading. Cover me. There we go. This is the spot to hold down. We are racking them up. I'm gonna throw out the UAV and counter UAV pretty much immediately because now we have to maneuver around to the other side of the map. We're gonna have to get some kills to do it. There we go. All right, so we've cleared them off of C. We'll pick up some ammo on the way. Oh, they got the spawn. Good teammates here. All right, now we have the spawn and we can hold down our position. There's one. Uh, not a long shot here. There we go. Racking them up. here they're starting to get smart on me here got an airstrike over there captain B over here I'm gonna run in for a reload while we're in the middle of this airstrike get out of here it's getting dangerous Tough one. Knock him out anyway. Get that UAV up. We continue. Oh, we got a sentry gun over there. A little close kill with the hunter killer drone. Ooh, close. Close. Oh, he got me. He got me. Maneuver all the way back. We maneuver all the way back, and a lot of the time on Rust, if you want to get back, you can do it with the least amount of traffic from the enemy by going right over the top. Then we get back to our long shots. Cover me, reloading. Lost Alpha. 
Might see some come around on C here in a second. Oh, we've got a tempest running around that corner. Hostile sentry gun in your AO. Got shot. It's more long shots here. I'm hurt. Slowly but surely drop the sentry gun. Contact with enemy. Frag. There we go. All right, that about does it for that long shot spot on the map here for domination on Rust. And that's an easy position. You can do that with basically any weapon. You can essentially pick up that spot, hold it down for the whole game, work on maneuvering back there if you don't spawn there, and try and keep the spawn and just cover those two points. Usually you win the game, and that allows you to just hold down the position and consistently be engaging enemies at the distance that you need to for the long shot. So that about does it for long shots. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever I post a video. Follow me on Instagram at mod6gaming and check out the stream twitch.tv slash mod6. It's free. Come follow, join us. I play with games with subscribers and followers on Saturdays and uh, we're streaming four days a week. Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Come check it out. Mod 6 out.